In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your course into modules by week, but I'm also going to show you what a course would look like that doesn't have modules and how modules can really help the navigation of your course. For this class, I downloaded an old course that I used to work with and took it apart and made a bit of a mess out of it. So this is not the original structure of the course, but I've seen courses organized with a custom homepage and then no module structure. And to a student, let me show you how that works. I'm going to student view. And I can see that the side navigation has been reduced somewhat to help students navigate. And the first time you sign into a class, it is kind of nice to have something engaging with images and maybe a little bit of information about the class. But the next time I sign into this course, I don't need this information anymore. So I've kind of used up a lot of real estate with with what's called a static homepage, which means the information doesn't change daily or weekly. Now, as a student, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do next. So if I start picking around on this menu, I might click on announcements and see that I have one announcement. Pretty easy. Then if I click on assignments, when students click on assignments, they get a little different view than we do at first. And there's actually defaults to the show by date. So the due dates of the assignments would be listed with the ones with due dates at the top and ones without due dates, these undated assignments at the bottom. And they tell them when assignments are due, but not necessarily what they're supposed to do to get to that assignment or when they're supposed to start it. They can click on this show by type and it shows the page that you get, but the organization of organization of this page doesn't really mean anything to students. These are your Skyward grade categories and perhaps some categories that you accidentally made when you were practicing. And it doesn't really provide any context for the students about the order in which they're supposed to do things. If there are pages in the class, which can also be added to modules, you can click here and they could see a list of pages. This class doesn't have very many pages, but there's a couple and they could open them. But again, out of context. And then we have all these quizzes, which are listed. Again, they would be by due date. And this particular course has some numbers on their quizzes, but it's out of context with the other activities that should happen before the quiz is taken. And then they can go home and end up back at the course homepage. So let's see how this might look different to a student if we added some modules and changed the home page to modules. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click on the modules page. And for the first module, you could click here, but you can add every module by clicking on this plus module button. And uh, for the purposes of uh, remote learning, parents did say it was nice to have these organized by week. And you could use week one, week two. You could also use the dates of the week. You could use a combination of both. I'm going to use week one and I'm going to put the dates, which I think are 909 to 911, probably. And now that I've made this folder, not only can I put things in it, but I can determine the order in which students should see them. So I'm going to click on this plus button, not the one up here, that would add another module, but this one right here. And in the assignments, I'm going to see if there's any assignments for week one that I might want to add to this module. And I just found these right here. So I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to hold down my control key and click on any other ones I want. The reason I use control instead of shift is because I might find something all the way in a different place and I don't want to have to select all those separately. So I'm going to add those things to my module. Then I'm also going to add some quizzes to the module. So you click right here and you can go to quiz and find the week one quiz and add that. So you do have to go through in this and check the different areas of different things you might have, like discussions. Oh, there's a discussion there and add that item. And then I can drag these into an order that might be useful. So I noticed, oops, I got getting the work environment in there twice. All I have to do is go like this and remove the item. It doesn't delete it from your canvas. It just takes it out of the module. And then I can drag this here. The quiz probably goes last. And maybe my chain, this piece of information goes there. So my module is organized, not visible to students yet, because even though each of these things has been published, they're in a locked module, kind of like a locked filing cabinet drawer. And I can click on that, and they become visible to the student. Let's try that again. I'm going to click on module. I'm going to name it week two. 
and put the dates in and the module. And then I'm going to add my items to the module. So I'll start with my assignments. And see if I can find anything in there that might go with week two. I see this. I hold down my control key, get all of those. Let's add those items. Then I click this plus sign again. And I'm going to see if there's any quizzes. I see two quizzes, three quizzes, add those. And then I'm going to go here and see if there's any discussions for the week. Oh, there is one. So add the item. So now I've made my week two, put all my things in it, and I can reorganize them if I want to. It looks like I've got, oh, that's a quiz. So let's put that one with the activity. They can read the assignment and then do the quiz. Workplace safety, then the workplace quiz. Crime stoppers, then the quiz. And the discussion, let's put that at the end this week. And publish my module. So the next thing we heard is that it's nice to have the newest stuff at the top. You can see how this could quickly get really long, but all I have to do is on the modules line right here. Click and I'm going to move my module to the top. And you have other choices too about where you want to move it, but I'm going to move it to the top. So now I have two modules. The newest one is at the top and I could create a third module name it week three, you get the idea. So let's go see what that one looks like to a student now. I still have this home page, which at this point might not be that useful to me. And it's a great home page. I'm not criticizing the class. It's just not what we're how we're organizing the class at this time. So I'm clicking this choose the home page and then I'm going to pick course modules instead of a custom home page and save that. And now let's go see what this looks like to the student now that we've organized it by modules. So I'm going to student view. And I would go back in at this point and get rid of some of the side navigation. I don't need assignments anymore because the assignments are right here. I don't need quizzes anymore because the quizzes are also in the module. And then I can still go back and see previous modules. If I'm a student and this starts to get long, I can also collapse these modules as the weeks go by and then go back into them if I need to. So if you're just getting started, I highly recommend that you use the module structure by week to help organize your course materials. You can even add new materials right in a module and I wanna show you how to do that. So let's add a module. Let's say it's week three and you haven't even started yet. We can call it week three. And the dates are, gosh, I don't know, let's say, let's guess the 17th, sorry, the 17th through the 21st. And we're going to add our module again. Now let's move it to the top. And let's say we're planning now. So we don't even really have this stuff made yet. We just know what we want to do. So I could click here and say, I want to have a page at the beginning of the module. That's the introduction to the module. So I chose page from here and then new page. And I'm going to call it unit introduction. There isn't anything on it yet. It's just a placeholder of a page. I can go back and add content to that page later, but I just know that it's something that I want to be able to do. And I notice I maybe made a typo, so I can go and take that off. And now I have a placeholder for a page. I also know that I want to have an assignment. Click on the new assignment, and that assignment is going to be about um, email etiquette. I'm not quite sure what that email etiquette is going to be yet. I haven't got it made, but I know I'm going to have one. And then I know that I will have a quiz at the end, so I can cl click on quiz, new quiz, and this is going to be the adequate email quiz. And add that item. So later, when I want to go back and fill these out, you just double click the item, click the edit button, and make your quiz. So you've sort of created a planning structure in that module to go back and fill things in later. A student would not be able to see any of the items in this module because the module isn't published and neither are any of the items in the module. 
there's a lot of great uses of custom web pages out, um, excuse me, custom front pages out there that I've seen that are very well designed and really are also helpful in getting students and families to navigate courses. But those pages are still built on a great module structure, very well organized content behind those pages. This video is not going to address the custom home pages because you really should start by working on the structure. Custom home pages also can require a great deal of maintenance and some skills that um, take some time to develop in order to make them useful and keep them fresh. So I'll add something about custom home pages as we continue during the semester. You can always add one of those over the top of your course. But as long as it's got a great module structure, adding that custom home page will be a breeze. Now you know how to organize your materials using modules and use modules for future planning of your curriculum.